In 160 seconds, you will decide how this story ends. This is a story about us, the indoor generation. A generation that spends 90% of its life indoors. It all started the day we left nature behind. We filled our homes with lovely things and all the stuff we wanted. Our homes became places you would never want to leave. Artificial light replaced daylight. And we built our houses so that nothing could escape. We cooked and showered, breathed and played, slept and sweated. But we had closed ourselves in. To a point where nothing could get out. So when the air turned bad inside, we tried fixing it with chemicals. And we put in little artificial suns everywhere to make the darkness bearable. That's when things started to happen. Hard to notice in the beginning. Some needed help to sleep to breathe, to not itch. Many of us even started to feel sad. So we turned on happy lamps to make the sadness go away. Then, scientists discovered that the air inside our homes is up to five times more polluted than the air outside that the lack of daylight can affect children's learning and increase blood pressure. It turns out that kids' rooms often have the highest concentration of toxicants in the house. In fact, millions of homes are unhealthy to live in. They discovered that living in damp and moldy homes increases the risk of asthma by 40%. And I learned that millions of people like me suffer from asthma and allergies caused by a bad indoor environment. And so, here we are. How the story ends is up to you because it's not written yet. More than likely, you've seen this powerful video explaining how poor indoor air quality will affect our health and well-being. Unfortunately, most of us can't keep our windows open year-round, but there is a solution.